Hello, my name is Gerald Hart with the School of Prophetic Evangelism. It is my purpose in this series of teachings to equip you to more effectively and successfully see the power of God when you do the Jesus style of ministry. Have you ever heard the phrase, seek his face and not his hand? What the phrase refers to is an understanding of, of some that it is more important to seek intimacy and time alone with the Lord as opposed to seeking his blessings or the favor of his hand. For some, in this context, it would, might mean financial blessing or revitalized health or various manifestations of the Holy Spirit in signs and wonders. But I come back to the statement, seek his face, not his hand. Is this phrase or this statement a valid instruction? In the School of Prophetic Evangelism, I teach my students to anticipate that the Holy Spirit is going to give you a divine appointment in what we call treasure hunting. Remember, people are the treasure, and the Holy Spirit is going to give a variety of clues as to the location, where is this person going to be for the appointed time, as well as the person's name, their particular need, appearance, as well as something unique. A divine appointment, treasure hunt, requires a variety of tools. The primary tool of street encounter is a word of command for instant healing and revelatory encouraging words, sometimes called a word of knowledge, about the person that could not have been known by any kind of natural means or natural level. Both identifying the person through the treasure hunt, that is the location, the name, need, appearance, or something unique, and applying a treasure hunt tool that is a street healing or a revelatory word requires the hand of the Lord. So do we seek his face or do we seek his hand? Well to me it sounds like do you love your wife or do you love your children? I don't believe that's a valid choice. To love one meant that you had to diminish the other but is that a valid choice? For treasure hunters we seek both his face and his hand. We seek the place of intimacy as well as touching people with the hand of Jesus. My name is Gerald Hart with the School of Prophetic Evangelism. Now go out this week and have some fun.